Chad from Bacon Firearms Reviews, and uh, let's start the show, high point style. How the C9 works is it has a mag release here to release the mag. And it falls right out. Actually pretty easy for something that's uh, $170. Put it back in here. And uh, over here is the safety, as you can see. Slides up. Right now it's fire. Now it's safe. So we'll flip it down. And also you can pull back the slide and it also acts as your slide release too. So you pull it back and lift up the slide lock or lock the slide back works just like that not bad and uh, to release the slide you have to pull back really hard on the slide really hard and ah, there we go yeah it goes right forward and then you can just uh, manipulate it and this whole entire upper right here is all just solid uh, cast steel uh, it's a blowback system so that relies on the weight and uh, the bottom of it is plastic and it's actually hefty for something that's uh, uh, cheap as this gun that's made with Palmer. The sights on the C9 is actually not bad. As you can see, they're pretty easy to see. They're user-friendly. And uh, it gives you a nice little uh, picture apparatus of your sights, which ain't too bad for something this cheap. And it's pretty dang accurate, too. So, not bad. How the 995 works is it's a blowback system, has the same safety as the C9, and the mags in this carbine actually fit in the C9, which is actually pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, and it's actually a really nice little carbine. The ammo I'm going to be using today is uh, Liliar and Bellot. I don't know, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I never can, but it is pretty good ammo, so I got tons of this, so we're going to use this to test out. Just picked up this gun the other day, and it's brand new out of the box. And the mag I'm starting out with is the one that I bought to go with it. It is the extension for the uh, magazine. So that way you can actually grab it easier, because the mag that came with it is very uh, very small and hard to get out, but it falls right out. But um, this one works well, and it holds two more rounds instead of... So you got a 10-round mag there, rather than eight that I'm just about to put in here. And... See if you can get it. <laughs> Fish it out of the pocket. All right. So that's the little eight rounder. And uh, yeah, the blowback system, it's nice, but the he the weight of the slide comes back on you, and you have to get a nice grip on the pistol to shoot it. Other than that, it's a great shooter. As you can tell, there is no failure to feeds or anything yet, and it's a pretty good gun. If you're wondering what I'm shooting at, there's actually a dirt pile back there. It's not just snow, so we got a nice little backstop, just in case any of you were actually worried about if I was actually shooting at just a pile of snow. <laughs> now we're shooting the 995. Got a 10-round magazine. Put it right in there. And I really like the bolt right here, the bolt handle. Oh, we got to flip the safety off there. But the bolt handle is right on the side for right-handed shooters, so it's very uh, handy. And as you can see, the sights, the front sight's really high. It's not the prettiest looking carbine, but it actually works and it's very reliable. I've had one hang up out of the you know many hundreds of rounds I've put through this uh, carbine, so 
uh, it's very nice. They say that uh, you can use high point carbine mags in your um, model C9 high point pistol. So let's see if that works. Clipped in there. Loaded just fine. It actually worked. People say if you limp hand it, it sh like it'll probably jam. And this remind you, this is right out of the box. Just bought it yesterday, so this thing is relatively new, and so far no problems. So let's just limp hand it. Let's see what happens. No problems. And just for you guys, the high point haters out there, let me put another mag in. Just to make sure. No problems. Hey, this is Chad again. Hope you uh, enjoy the video. Uh, who knew something that's under $200 would work so well? Uh, there is pros and cons with this gun. Uh, you have to really bring it back and put the you know, slide lock right into there and release it. And uh, also, it's really bulky. You know, it's not really comfortable. It's, you know, really thick. So when you put it in your holster, it's not really good for concealed carry. This is probably good for your home defense for in your house for your family. So this is a nice little uh, home defense or even a truck gun. Out of 110 rounds I put through this gun, only had two hangups. And what, the first hangup was with the mag from the uh, Model 995 carbine from High Point. If you guys enjoy the video, I mean, there's probably some of you out there that you know are High Point haters. Uh, this is a gun for someone that doesn't have much money for a family, can't afford very much. Uh, this is perfect for affordable costs. Yeah, 1911s are nice, Glocks are nice, you know, but they're still spendy for some people's uh, budget. This is a perfect gun for the budget, first gun to start. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, 
leave a comment below of anything you guys want in the future. Click like and subscribe my channel. And remember, have a bacon of a day.